Welcome to bsdtutorial.org. In one lesson we were using the single user mode to be able to restore the root password. This means that you can log in to single user mode with no root password. So let's have a look at this. In the startup screen if you select number 6 option, um, this means that uh, when you boot in this option, uh, you will not require any root password to be able to reset the root password on the local machine. Please notice that it's not possible to reach the machine out from the internet and to do this because this is only a local thing you can do. So uh, it will look like this actually. When you select your shell you see, for example, I'm going to mount up all the drives with this command mount A and then, for example, you can see that I'm wrote right now and I didn't require any password. So, in case there are moments, for example, that you have your service in environments, uh, you have your service in places, physical places, where you really cannot trust that people are there, that you think perhaps they can reset my root password or steal anything, well, uh, we can solve this and uh, this is the tutorial is about. So let's reboot now and go back to the normal mode and I'm going to show you exactly how to disable so that single user mode will require the root password to be able to log in. But please notice that once this is done it means that if you forget your root password it's a lot harder to get into the machine. This will cause you some problems then. So what we actually need to do is that we need to edit just one file and to edit just one thing there. And the file will be located in etc slash ttt uh, tty's. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Uh, please notice that um, uh, in my case I'm not using any password, but it uh, but I'm going to put the password right now. So now I'm having a password on my root account, but that's not what you need to do, but it was only in my case. So what you need to do is to edit one file located in etc, named ttys. In this file, we are going to search for something named secure. And here it is. On this line you can see uh, this one, console, known, unknown, off, and secure. You just need to do like this, that instead of secure, you should have insecure. This is everything you need to do, so just save this file. And we are able to reboot the machine to check that it works the next time we go into single user mode. This means that if we try to enter the single user mode, it will ask for the password for the root account this time. So now I enter single user mode by pressing the number 6 and going forward. So before, even if you have or even if you have not the password, you will be automatically logged in as root in single user mode locally. So uh, that uh, that can be a problem. So now you see, now it's asked for the password, and this is because we were changing the edit, we were editing the, the TTYS file in etc. So now I cannot log in if I don't have the password. If I try and fail, like I did this time, it will reboot automatically going back to the normal mode then. So that was everything for today, for this lesson. Thank you very much for watching.